Hey guys, uh, just back with another dose of madness for you, just going through some of the uh, BBC snippets of the Brussels inverted commas attacks from yesterday. Okay, first of all, there's your 33 code. Bam, have that. Back to the dismay of most of its residents has become notorious. We don't know if today's attackers came from here. But it's been at the centre of Belgium's problems with radicalisation. Prove it. Just last Friday, security services here were celebrating the capture of Saleh Abdel Salam. Abdel Salam has a numerology of 21, uh, which is basically the 3 7 code, which is a highly Masonic code, which will be explained in a numerology series that I'll be doing shortly. Okay, and as odd as this might sound, there's also a reason why there's the Batman versus Superman poster behind them. Again, that will be explained in a later video. Let's continue. The final member of the cell in Paris during November's attacks. Paris cell? No, there's no attacks in Paris. Eight, three of the Paris attackers and many in their support network all grew up in Molenbeek. Okay, just go about there. Okay, what I want to do is just drag in the numerology calculator, and as you can see, nothing that's put in front of your eyes is by accident. It all has a meaning. So the DKN, numerology 11, which is one of the master numbers, next to another one, 22. Put them together, there's your 33 code. And of course, there's the 8, which again will be explained in a numerology series later on. And also with one of the witnesses that we're going to be going through in another video shortly. Let's continue. Terrorists, orange, guns. Prove it. Today's attacks have left some here worrying what will be revealed and what will happen next. La communauté musulmane, euh, elle est victime, doublement victime. Je pense là maintenant euh, avec beaucoup d'émotion à l'institutrice de l'école islamique à Bruxelles. Uh, Prove they didn't make it into work. Pulling on the heartstrings. Belgium has a higher number of jihadis in Syria per capita than anywhere else in Europe. Prove what you're saying. How do you know? And for the past few weeks, I've been spending time here to try and understand why. Good man. One reason many in the Muslim community here give is that when the Syrian conflict started... Syrian conflict, okay. This is the narrative they're building. Authorities didn't seem overly concerned by the presence of recruiters. It's because they don't exist. The Syrian crisis started, no one paid attention to the danger of radicalization. So they're attaching what happened in Brussels, which was nothing, to Syria. Il y avait ce danger du, du radicalisme, ces recruteurs, mais l'Europe était occupée avec la Syrie et on a laissé ces recruteurs dans la rue. Why didn't you do anything? Did you tell the police? On les a pas sur. Did you tell the police? Ils il se déplaçaient, ils recrutaient. Pas dans les mosquées, mais en dehors des mosquées. Why didn't you stop them? Molenbeek has 40% youth unemployment. There are a lot of disaffected young men here. Some susceptible to the IS message. How are they susceptible to the IS message? Prove to me that Muslims are susceptible to the, to the IS message. Sheikh Bassam Ayashi used to be one of Molenbeek's most well-known preachers, but is now in Syria with a rebel group fighting against both IS and the Assad regime. Another bogeyman? In Molenbeek, many used to label him a radical. But unlike a new generation of IS jihadists... Just want to stop it right there. Just look at that. He says he's firmly against attacks in the West. Daesh, 
Okay, now the only people that are susceptible to anything here are the masses that are susceptible to the mass mind control put on them by secret societies who basically run governments. I asked him why he thought so many young people from his old neighbourhood jo Well, let me ask you something. How on earth did you get a radicalised ex-preacher who's in Syria, apparently causing terrorist activity on Skype. How did you do that? What did I ask? Did you do text message him? Okay, so it's all the unemployed, all the uneducated. Can't trust them. Delinquents, drug dealers, building a narrative. All the people in prison. If you return to religion, you don't go around killing people. No, she's got a gun in the background there. That's what they always do. He's clearly a radicalized individual, so we put the gun in the background. Some, the solution to the threat from IS lies in resolving the Syrian crisis. For How does it? There's, it's resolving issues closer to home. Whatever the answers are, they're already too late for today's victims. Thanks for that monotone, man. Okay, now this is the uh, screen capture that obviously finishes the short video by the BBC. And I'm just going to go into a little bit detail about this symbol there. Now this symbol here is the internationally recognised symbol for peace, which I'm sure you're fully aware. I just want to explain a little bit about this. Now the only reason this is depicted as a sign of peace is because it's a sign of peace if you're a Luciferian that's in a secret society. And here's why. This right here is the peace symbol technically as it should be. Why? Because it depicts a man on a cross. So to the Luciferian, when you flip it upside down, it becomes a symbol of peace. <laughs> 